Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates and we've got another earwax extraction video for you today. Um, as you can see, we have some very deep-seated earwax which is uh, stuck almost on the eardrum itself. Um, so, quite a difficult one to do. We're just going to start with a standard Zollner tube. You can see that there's not enough room in this ear canal to fit a standard Zollner tube and the endoscope. So we've had to switch to a much smaller fine end. So it's going to take a lot longer to remove this because we're going to take little tiny pieces away at a time. So you can see there's a little bit of wetness in there, that's where the uh, olive oil has gone in just to uh, try and soften some of this wax a little bit. So very gently trying to manoeuvre some of these smaller pieces of earwax away. Just working our way around. Now this is one solid piece of wax, this one, so I'm trying to break little bits off. And I've got to be really gentle because it's actually pushing um, up against the eardrum. So you can see the whole thing moving. If you look to the right hand side and just block the view there a little bit but you can see the whole section moving there there we are just pulling away slightly see it all just there you go just taking a little piece away the difficulty we're using a fine end normally with a um, like a larger piece like this you'd use the standard zona tube but we just don't have enough room in this ear canal it's so narrow and so small that we're having to use the fine end and it's just a case of breaking these little tiny tiny little pieces of wax away so I'm going to go in take it away because the wax is quite hard as well it's not getting sucked inside uh, the tube itself it's just sitting on the outer section of the tube so it just blocks the RC so just blocks the suction up straight away so I'm going to constantly take a piece away go back in take a piece away here we are just getting a grip on the, the next section here we are all the time just trying to move it sort of sideways you can see there's still a great deal of, uh, of wax in here now when you look to the right you'll see a lighter beige color to the right of where the suction is at the moment that looks like an old piece of dead skin and I think we can see the bottom section of it the white section just below the suction tube there so I think it's actually sitting on a piece of dead skin which is sitting just in front of the, uh, the eardrum itself but just trying to find any kind of movement or any loose section of wax there to work on you know, just see it starting to move there i'll take the top section away there a little bit still trying to be very gentle with this trying to tease this away as best we can yeah you, you see that that's, that's one solid plate there at the top so find it difficult to try and find any way that we can get a good grip on this wax. This way was such a difficult extraction because you're you're working on a really confined space, so very, very small limited movements in here. And you're working with the fine end, which makes it a lot harder because it blocks up so easily with any little bits of wax on. And because it's such a hard piece of wax, it's not getting sucked into the machine at all. It's just blocking the suction end constantly. So quite uh, quite a laborious task getting this one out. Now we just found there's a little there you go there's a little bit of flap of dead skin now this looks like it's all connected to that piece of wax so when we start pulling on it you can see it's quite difficult to, to maneuver it, but you can see the whole section of wax is just starting to move there it's coming away from the eardrum so we're going to work on this bit of skin but uh, as it is it's breaking away now I know you guys have seen me use crocodile forceps to go in and remove this. The difficulty here is the crocodile forcep wouldn't fit. Um, the ear canal itself would accommodate it, but I couldn't accommodate that and the endoscope at the same time. So we're having to just very slowly work our way along this, just trying to get a grip on the skin. But when you're putting the suction in, obviously the skin gets pulled into the suction. So sometimes as you're trying to move it out the way, the suction pulls it back into place just breaking little pieces away there we are just trying to maneuver this wax but it's so difficult because we've got to be conscious of the wax and trying to maneuver the skin into the right position to get a good grip on it with a suction uh, it's proving a little bit difficult there we are we're just just start to turn it okay we're just breaking there you go and see a piece of this old skin coming away there we are and then just getting the next section coming away now. Here we go, just getting trying to get a grip on the skin or the wax. There we are. Now we're starting to get some movement to the wax. You can just see it starting to move. 
if there's a little bit of misting on the camera, it's because this lady used quite a bit of olive oil in here, so it's um, you do sometimes hit a little bit of olive oil as you go into the little hairs as you go into the ear canal. Couldn't get out with the uh, standard uh, with the fine end, so just switch to the standard size on and now just remove it the outer section. There we go, and the next section just going in with the standard on the tube again. There we go, getting a grip on it. You see a couple of little hairs from uh, from the head there, just on the outer part of the ear canal. And just looking in now we can see we've got some skin debris left in there that needs to come away because that's still resting against the eardrum so this is the fine end again just looking to try and get a grip obviously you've got to be very careful just hovering above um, the ear canal wall there because we know it's very very sensitive just going in for the next section now Here we are, we've got a long kind of there we are there's that skin the remainder of it. There we go. See that long strip there. I'm going to go back in. There's a tiny little bit of uh, little wax there, so we'll, we'll remove that. You can see a little bit of redness, a little red dot on the eardrum as well. It's just pulled a hair in from the outside there as well at the same time. That's still attached to the head, so it will come back out with the suction. There you go. Okay, now you can see there's some fine hairs in here. Now I get asked this question a lot why don't we remove these fine hairs? look what happens when you put the suction on them that's all they do is just flap around at the end of the suction but they don't actually go anywhere okay you might get the odd one that gets sucked in but there's still a little bit there you can see the eardrum there so they will get washed away with uh, the next bath or shower this is what we removed you can see how small some of these pieces are that we were working on but um, yeah really tough extraction today but thank you very much for sitting through it guys and as always like subscribe share and take care